Oh yes, it's that time again. It's time to talk about Roadhog. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Salosa and this is Unit Lost. And Jeff Goodman, who is the principal designer of Overwatch, let's call him Uncle Jeff because he's not Daddy Jeff because that's Jeff Kaplan, the game director. It's the other Jeff of Overwatch. Well, he's the principal designer, so he's involved in, well, designing the game. And uh, he makes a lot of changes to the game and he's very um, vocal on the forums. And it's pretty good, this is, because it gives us like an insight into what's going on. And in fact, the entire Overwatch team pretty much is, which is awesome. I mean, it's a, a pretty unique thing with Overwatch and we love it. Anyway, I digress. So... What the hell are we looking at here? Well, what we've got is Jeff has been quite active on the forums recently. He's been speaking about Sombra, Reaper, and Roadhog. With Sombra, um, he actually says she's kind of uh, maybe got a bit too much power invested in one ability, i.e. EMP, which I think is true because that's basically all you use Sombra for. Um, Reaper, he speaks about Wraith form and why it functions the way it does, but Roadhog is kind of the interesting one because, well, what he has to say in response to a thread on the forum is really interesting. So a user on the forum says, so how about making this hook work like Junkrat's trap? And then goes on to explain how he would like that to work. Now, if I just quickly break this down, the way Roadhog's hook works right now is if he hooks you, you are stunned, you get pulled into him, you can't use any abilities, and he will primarily fire into your head and pretty much kill you. In fact, he'll kill like 90% of the entire hero cast. The only people he can't one-shot is another Roadhog, another Winston. Uh, he can one-shot a Zarya. Um, sometimes it's not 100% guaranteed, but you know, there is the chance of it. Uh, and like a Reinhardt. So, anyone with a shed load of health, he can't kill them, but he can pretty much kill absolutely everybody else. This is because they're stunned, right? Even if they have abilities which would prevent them from actually taking that damage, they can't use them because, well, Roadhog will. He stuns them, right? So, what does Jeff say in response to this? And it's actually really interesting. So, what he says is, I had thought about this once before, but to be honest, we never actually tried playtesting that version. It'd be pretty easy to try out, though. It's probably worth testing and seeing how it feels for both parties. Now, this is a very interesting comment because it contains two really critical things. The first thing, it says that they haven't actually tried this, which I think is crazy because surely when they were testing Roadhog, they must have thought to themselves, um, let's just allow them to, you know, use their primary weapon but not use abilities as such. Um, so, yeah, but they didn't. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Um, but the other thing is, and this is one of the critical sort of design guidelines of Overwatch, it must feel fun for both parties. And what that means is, it has to feel fun for the person doing the killing and the, for the person being killed. Now, it doesn't feel great when you get killed, right? It, it's bad, right? You've died. Oh, no, I've died. Thing is, though, if it's like because they've outplayed you or they've done something skillful, generally, you might be like, oh, I can't believe I've died, but you, you're okay with it. You're cool with it. Now, Roadhog is kind of the epitome of this problem because when he had hook 1.0, well, he'd hook you from around the corner and kill you and you would feel very frustrated, right? They've changed the hook now and you could probably argue that we're looking at hook 3.0 by the time... Um, the PTR goes live, which I think should be like next week. Well, the PTR patch goes live next week. Um, so his hook, he has 20% reduced range, well, 20% reduced spread on his weapon fire and his hook pulls you 3.5 meters uh, in front of him instead of, I think it was two before. Um, so they're, they're minor changes, but basically the, the hook 2.0 was the big one because it means he can no longer hook you from around the corner so you don't feel robbed. Thing is though, you still feel like you've been mugged essentially because when Rodog hooks you, you just take your hands off the keyboard because you're dead, right? Hook 2.0, means it's very easy to land the headshots and hook 3.0 still means it's very easy to land the headshots so you're still going to kill practically every single hero when you get hooked so you just i mean if you're playing on console just put the controller down if you're playing on pc take your hands off the keyboard and mouse because you're dead right unless you're like a, a roadhog with full health or a reinhardt or a winston or whatever right you're pretty much dead so I think he's a major problem for the team and they're trying to make it so he's not as obnoxious to get killed by. But the problem is, his hook is an obnoxious ability. Now, I'm on record saying this thing, it's the ultimate punisher of bad positioning and that's what it is, right? I'm pretty sure that's what they've designed it to be. If you're not behind a barrier, if you're not respecting the hog, he's going to hook you and then you're going to die. But what's frustrating about it is, well, when you really drill down to it, is Roadhog's a tank and he does a ton of DPS, and he can just one-shot people. It's like, what? So Roadhog is, yeah, he's in a lot of games, right? Because he's very, very powerful. The other way of looking at this is Reaper, right? 
What the hell is Reaper doing? Reaper is in a pretty bad situation right now. I wouldn't go so far as to say he's the worst character. I'd say Junkrat is the worst character. And I'd also say stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, for a video on Junkrat because I've been working on a video for quite a while about Junkrat. But anyway, Reaper is not in a great position, right? And the problem with Reaper is Junkrat, uh, Roadhog even, is a better Reaper. And Roadhog can just kill Reaper. Like, just kill him. Like, Reaper has no chance. So let's rewind all of this back and let's talk about Junkrat's trap, right? Imagine if the hook worked like Junkrat's trap. Now, what Junkrat's trap does to you is it locks you into position and it stops you using abilities, some abilities, but it allows you to keep firing your primary weapon. Now, if you are Reaper, for example, you can Wraith form when you're inside the trap. Now, imagine if they applied the trap's mechanic exactly to Hook, right? So when the hook connects to you, it doesn't stun you no longer, right? So you can still fire back. Because let's think about this, like, logically. If you've just been hooked by Roadhog, well, if we think about it logically and he throws a massive meat hook through your chest, you're probably instantly dead. But anyway, I digress. If he hooks you and you get pulled towards him, you should still be able to fire at him, right? Because that, it kind of makes, like, there's a bit of risk there for the Roadhog. So he's not just throwing hooks out, doing whatever he likes. Because, of course, Blizzard... Like, I've realized that he was throwing the hook out a bit too often because it used to be a six second cooldown, and soon it'll be an eight second cooldown when the uh, the PTR patch hits live. But anyway, yeah, so you get hooked, and surely you should be able to fire back, right? Well, if it did work like Junkrat's trap and you get hooked, you could fire back into the Roadhog. And what that means is, is if Roadhog has got like, I don't know, two, three hundred, if he's half health and you and he's hooking you and you're getting pulled towards him and you can fire at him. Well, you know what? If you're Reaper, suddenly Roadhog really doesn't want to be hooking you, does he? Yeah, he's probably still going to kill you by the time he gets you into like optimal range when the hook finishes. But if Reaper's firing at him as he's being pulled towards him, it's going to do damage to him or any other character. They're going to do damage to him, right? And as I said, the way the trap works is some abilities can be used in it. I think Genji can deflect possibly, although don't quote me on that, but I know 100% that Reaper can use Wraith Form. So imagine if Reaper gets pulled in and then uses Wraith Form, right? Uh, so the hook does no damage to him. That means that suddenly Roadhog can't just hook Reaper and kill him. Reaper is the counter to Roadhog. Reaper, like everybody, like Blizzard on record saying Reaper is the anti-tank. He is the character who counters the tanks. But the problem is Roadhog counters him and Roadhog is a tank. And that is the crazy problem we've got with Roadhog. And it's interesting to me that he would reply to this comment on the forum because this means that they would be looking at ways to sort of tune Roadhog a little bit more. And whether that's changing or removing the way the stun works, is an interesting thought because there are other ways they could do this so imagine like they're not going to allow you to use your abilities when you're hooked right because that i think is a bit too powerful right because if you hooked somebody and they like if you hooked a mccreen he just flashbanged you in the face and ran off it doesn't feel great for roadhog right suddenly his hook will become quite poor and it'll just be pointless and roadhog will just fall away and, and not really get used blizzard have got to find this balance between having the hook as this great tool you can use but not making it feel like this thing which is just completely terrible and it has more i love this word it has more ramifications as well than just the way it works for roadhog because as i've said reaper is in a pretty bad position if reaper had a way of dealing with roadhog it suddenly means that roadhog well he can't just hook at will and also, if Roadhog's got low health, he can't just hook anybody. You know, if he hooks a McCree and McCree fans the hammer at him or McCree just starts pinging those headshots in as he's being hooked, that could kill Roadhog. You know, like, so I just can't believe that Blizzard haven't tested this before, allowing you to just fire your primary weapon while you're being, uh, or, or your alternate fire. Just basically fire your weapon while you're being hit by the hook. I agree that the hook should pull you towards Roadhog. I don't think you should be able to avoid that, right? Because you've been hooked, you're coming with him, right? Reaper is a kind of special case, right? Allowing Reaper going into Wraith form and the hook disconnects might be one way of sort of giving Reaper like a special case. Same for like Genji. Like I think maybe allowing him to deflect as well might be something nice they could do. Um, but beyond that, I don't think I'd like to see. But then again, the, the thing is, once you start down that path, it's like, well, surely Tracer should be able to rewind out of it. Well, yeah, as per the law, I guess you should be able to do that. So suddenly would that make Roadhog annoying? Like when you hook all these characters and they just start jumping. And then do we even go any further? Like you hook a diva and she just flies away because she's got like jets on the back of a mech so she can just pull the hook away it's a really really interesting discussion this is but if it did work like roadhog uh, like junkrat's trap i think roadhog um well i, I don't like uh, it's it's well it's an interesting one because the trap doesn't stop all ability usage you see um 
I think this would benefit Reaper quite well, but like I still don't think that would bring Reaper back into the game as such because just having like a strong counter to Roadhog, like it wouldn't just be Reaper, right? Because as I said, McCree could still do substantial damage. Soldier could do damage if he was pulled in. I think it's very interesting though that Blizzard are still looking at Roadhog. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, the, the discussion of Roadhog can just go on and on and on and on and on because he was in you know, a stupid state with Hook 1.0 and it was annoying, right? Hook 2.0 has made it much better, but he still kind of is annoying. Like, calling him OP, I don't know whether that's fair because I see a lot of people say, you know, they go out and they say, oh, Roadhog's OP. You know, he's a tank that can do a lot of damage. You do this, you know, I've covered it in this video, but yeah, sure, he can do a lot of damage. I don't really agree with that because he's a tank, but he, he still... You still have to be there to get hooked, if you get what I'm saying, right? And if you're there to get hooked, isn't that you sort of playing bad? You know, you need to adjust what you're doing. Obviously, there are times that Roadhog will just hook you and you're like, oh my god, I've been hooked. Less so than it used to be with the bullshit hooks with hook 1.0. But yeah, it, it, it's just going to be a... Dip this, this is just going to go on for ages and ages and ages, I think Roadhog is. I want you guys, though, to let me know how you think this would work in the comments below. And I'm looking for detailed comments as well. Like, what do you think would happen if Roadhog's hook was just Junkrat's trap or it worked in the same sort of way? I think it's a very interesting thought. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Salo Set and this is Unit Lost. And uh, it looks like potentially Roadhog in the future could be seeing more changes to his hook. You can follow me on Twitter, guys, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. And I will catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.